Good day grade 12s. My name is Viola from the Distinction Bound Student and I'd like to welcome you to Lesson 90 from the Distinction Bound Student Economics textbook written by Cardin Madzokir. In today's lesson we will look at regional development. As usual, we start by revising homework given in the previous lesson. Question 1. Which institution is responsible for the export sectors, tourism, agriculture, information and communication technology, ICT, and lastly cultural industries? Cardin told me to rephrase this question for it to say which institution identified export, tourism, agriculture, ICT, and cultural industries as prioritized growth sectors. I think the question makes more sense this way. The answer would be DTI or in full, Department of Trade and Industry. Question 2. What does the acronym IPAP stand for? Two marks. IPAP stands for Industrial Policy Action Plan. Question 3. Discuss reasons for industrial development. 8 marks. Here are the reasons. To exploit the world economy to trade and acquire knowledge. To maintain macroeconomic stability. To achieve high rates of savings and investment. To establish large-scale manufacturing, agricultural, mining and services production. To diversify the economy. To develop manufacturing capacity to increase exports. To promote job creation. To develop and maintain appropriate incentives and lastly to contribute to the industrial development of the African continent. What is regional development? Regional development is the provision of aid and other assistance to regions which are less economically developed. Let us break down this statement. A region is also known as an area, zone, piece of land, or territory. So Africa is a region, Southern Africa is a region, West Africa is a region, Limpopo is a region and so on. So if an area, for example, Northern Cape, is identified as less economically developed and aid is provided to that area, we call it regional development. I hope my example is clear. Keep that in mind as we go through this topic. It will help you understand many other aspects of the topic. Regional development may be domestic or international in nature. The implications and scope of regional development may therefore vary in accordance with the definition of a region and how the region and its boundaries are perceived internally and externally. I hope you understand where I'm going with this. Moving on. What are the objectives of regional development? The objectives are as follows. To promote the development and structural adjustment of regions whose development is lagging behind. Do you know of any region in this country that is lagging behind? Let us know in the comments section down below. That helps us research about it and maybe talk about it in future as an example, which will then help future learners to understand this topic. The next objective is to support the economic and social conversion of areas experiencing structural difficulties. Another objective is to reduce unequal development of economic activities within a country. This can help reduce the Gini coefficient. I believe you know what that is. We did this in lesson 83 grade 11. South Africa's Gini co efficientas of July 19, 2023 is 0.65. It's closer to 1 so it means the gap between the rich and the poor is wide. A desirable Gini coefficient is closer to 0 that. The next objective is to stimulate development of economic activities within a country. I guess that's straightforward. Another objective is to stimulate development in poorer areas and to implement and coordinate the implementation of national and regional industrial policies. The last objective I have here is to prevent new imbalances from emerging. So basically regional development is a good thing especially when it comes to inequality. It tries to bridge the gap that may exist in an economy. I'll give the next part of the lesson to Kayleen. Over to you Kayleen. Thanks Viola. I'll now look at regional development in South Africa. Many regions in South Africa are economically prosperous due to the existence of vibrant economic and income-generating activities. These include gold mining in Hauteng, motor vehicle manufacturing in Port Elizabeth, and medium to heavy manufacturing in the Cape Town metropole. An estimated 80% of the country's GDP is produced in the following four industrialized areas. Durban, Pinetown, Johannesburg, Pretoria, Schwaney, Port Elizabeth, Coega, Wietenhag, Cape Town Metropole. Now let's move on to international best practice for regional development. We will do it under the following headings. Free market orientation, competitiveness, sustainability, good governance, provision of resources, provision of resources, investing in social capital, integration, and lastly partnerships. Let's start with free market orientation. Government intervention in markets should be kept to a minimum, 
so that the forces of supply and demand, as well as profit motives, can allow for efficient allocation of resources. The government must support entrepreneurship on a larger scale, as well as small business development. Next up is competitiveness. Industries or businesses established as a result of regional policies should be competitive and not need ongoing financial aid from government. Development should not only be limited to labor-intensive production methods, but must also focus on access to technology and the transfer of skills. The next one is sustainability. The capacity of a region to support its own development and the natural resources and human resources of the region should be harnessed so that employment and sustainable development is achieved. The use of local resources will also offer the most cost-effective solutions. The people from a specific region should strive to be independent and allow development to take place from within. We now move on to good governance. Regional development strategies should be managed effectively and be free of corruption. Principles of accountability and transparency should be applied to ensure financial control. Projects should be correctly programmed, monitored, and evaluated. Next up is provision of resources. Sufficient resources should be provided in resource-poor areas, such as the development of infrastructure. The interaction of all aspects of a community, such as health, education, and nutrition, must be considered. The next one is investing in social capital. Governments need to improve the quality of education and health care in a region. Development for people involves providing essential services and goods that improve the living standard of people in a region. Examples include food, housing, and security. No on to integration. An integrated approach should be followed, ensuring that benefits on one part of a region spill over to other industries and areas. Examples of an integrated approach should focus on tourism, agriculture, etc. Lastly, partnerships. Partnerships should be built between central government, local authorities, civil society, special interest groups, NGOs, and the private sector. The private sector, the public sector, and local communities must cooperate with one another to achieve the best possible regional development. The private sector provides investment, expertise, and goods in the development process. Over to you, Viola. As usual, we conclude our lesson with homework activity 80 on page 189. Question 1. Discuss the objectives of regional development in South Africa. 8 marks. This has brought us to the end of today's lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound Student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.